не, он уже у нас омолодился, стал молоденьким-молоденьким пастушок рыб, рыбок. Пастушком рыбок. Рыбешка уже заплыла. Память слова. О, тут вообще кадр с водолазом. Кадр с водолазом. Ну вот. Аж смешно, что сколько плавает на людей, и все только русские и украинцы. Все. Оценивайте теперь, какая у нас нация. Берем самые сказки всякие, лучше на что. Медицинский надзиратель. Горячим не назовешь. Такое тепленькое, но никак не горячее это озеро. Чтобы сказать горячие воды, как написано, что от середины идет самый горячий поток воды, ничего подобного. Может быть в летний период, все-таки сегодня 27 декабря, не будем про это забывать. Но на данный момент вода так себе. Никак. Даже сильно теплая не назовешь, просто нормальная температура да, Там вон находится туалет. Все плотно, конечно, очень все красиво, чистенько. Давай, плыви. Слышно, как разговаривают, только на одном украинском русском языке. Все. Так, вот единственная правдивая надпись, что все-таки мы в Америке, это вот на американском языке табличка. Все. Ладно, все. Ставить, камеру выключать. Вот здесь мы расположились под пальмами. Солнышко зашло, так сильно светило, или сюда доехали, прямо застрепляло всю дорогу. А сейчас солнышко зашло. Наши стульчики. Все.
Kurt Bowen, photographer and modern day explorer. I'm going to take you on a journey and show you the mysteries of warm mineral springs revealed. Today, thousands of bathers visit the healing waters of warm mineral springs, soak in, in its naturally heated waters, sunbathing on its manicured lawns, and enjoying freshly prepared foods and unique spa services. But Warm Mineral Springs wasn't always a place of leisure. If we turn back time as little as a hundred years, we discover that it was a place of danger. A secluded Florida swamp rarely visited by outsiders. A place where nature ruled and only the strongest survived. But to tell the whole story, we must journey back to prehistoric times, millions of years ago where the oceans covered most of North America. All of Florida at that time was a giant reef system, 
and for eons built up the limestone foundations we now build upon. To understand how warm mineral springs was created, we must first describe how limestone is shaped by moving water. The limestone layers below the surface differ in hardness and solubility. The softer, less pure limestone dissolves much quicker. As rain falls, it drains through decaying plant vegetation, allowing it to pick up a slightly acidic nature. Seeping through the porous limestone, this acid begins to dissolve the softer layers. Over millions of years, this moving water creates larger and larger underground streams, many times creating massive underground chambers hundreds of feet in diameter. Something very different happened that sets warm mineral apart from thousands of other caves in the eastern United States. Over a mile deep below the surface lies the rich source of water emerging from the spring. This great depth geothermally heats the water to over 100 degrees. The cooler groundwater vents within the sink reduce the temperature to 87 degrees before it reaches the surface. But water temperature is not the only factor that makes warm minerals so important. Turn the clock to 14,000 years ago and we find Florida a completely different place from today. At this time, North America had been locked under massive sheets of glacial ice. Florida's climate was more comparable to North Carolina. Ice Age mammals such as woolly mammoths camels, and giant ground sloths grazed on the vast grasslands stretching hundreds of miles across the Florida Peninsula. During this time period is when something very important happened at Warm Mineral Springs. Due to the massive amounts of water trapped within the giant glaciers, the sea level at this time was 80 feet shallower than today. Warm Mineral Springs was still covered by its limestone roof. Collapsing into the ground, warm mineral sink was born. But more important was the formation of this unique animal trap. The steep vertical walls of the sink make escape impossible, entombing all who happen to fall in. Thousands of years pass, the ice age ends and the oceans start to rise. As the oceans level rise, so does the water level in warm mineral. Once the water reaches the surface, it spills out, creating a small creek and warm mineral springs is born. Enter the modern age of man and the fountain of youth. Explorer Ponce de Leon hears tales of such a spring hidden away in the back country of Florida's west coast. Protected by local Indians, Ponce attempts to battle his way to the healing waters, but is mortally wounded in his attempts. Hundreds of years pass and more minerals rediscovered in the early 1900s by Florida explorers. News of the healing waters spread quickly and within 30 years, Warm Mineral Springs is converted into America's first warm mineral spa. Early bathers seeking the healing power swim in its warm waters and for 25 cents smear mud from the banks of the spring on their skin. Discovery was not over yet as early underwater explorer Colonel Bill Royal slips on his aqualung and for the first time in the history of warm mineral springs, man visits what has been hidden below the surface for over 15,000 years. Colonel Royal quickly discovers that warm mineral springs is an archaeological dream, a time capsule containing hundreds of extinct animal remains. But the most amazing discovery would be the recovery of human remains dating back over 10,000 years. This discovery would later rewrite the human migration time clock by over 4,000 years. Colonel Bill Royal continued to explore and swim in warm mineral springs until the day he passed. To his tribute, I dedicated the deepest reaches of warm mineral springs, a small room in the back of a small cave at a depth of 227 feet, by naming it the Royal Room, and placing his ashes, along with a few personal effects, in a watertight sealed time capsule on a small ledge, tucked away for an eternity. Now we are going to take you on a short journey to the deepest regions of warm mineral springs and show you what is hidden below the circle of white buoys. Submerging below the surface, we immediately notice the reduced water visibility. Depending on the time of year, it can range from 25 feet to a few inches. 
Descending deeper, we first discover a circle of ancient dry cave formations hanging along the 25-foot undercut called stalactites. Circling the outer walls, we drop to a depth of 40 feet. Here we find the burial site of ancient man that Colonel Bill Royal discovered over 50 years ago. Slipping over the inner ledge, we descend quickly into the darkness. All natural sunlight from the surface is lost. At a depth of 70 feet, we discover the ancient ceiling that collapsed thousands of years ago. Undisturbed, the sulfur-rich water produces a forest of hanging sulfur bacteria. Easily disturbed, these bacteria sickles thrive without sunlight, converting the sulfur into energy. From here, it's a 50-foot descent to the top of the debris mound, where we discover an eight-story tall mountain of decaying plant matter. Only one very small attempt was made to excavate this giant mound. It no doubt contains the archaeological remains of hundreds of extinct animals and most likely man. Descending deeper, we follow the mound downwards towards the deepest sections of the sink. At a depth of 170 feet, we enter the hot water zone. Here the water temperature spikes to 99 degrees and visibility often increases to over 100 feet. This is the mixing zone of warm mineral springs, where the 100 degree geothermal heated water begins to mix with the cooler 73 degree shallow aquifer water entering the upper walls of the sink. At a depth of 210 feet, we discover the main hot water spring flowing millions of gallons of water daily. It is a tight squeeze to pass into the small horizontal passage beyond. The old line and markers placed by Colonel Bill Royal can still be seen waving in the current. After several hundred feet of tight passage, we enter a larger room. Here, several small hot water vents supply the 100 degree water. Too small to penetrate, we push further into the cave. At a depth of 227 feet, we squeeze through the tightest 20-inch restriction and enter the royal room. Here lies the largest of hot water vents, descending deeper into the ground. Not large enough to push deeper, we have no choice but to turn the dive and exit the cave. Disturbing the thick silt layers on the cave floor often leads to reduced visibility upon the exit. Making our way back through the narrow cave passage, we again exit into the bottom of warm mineral sink. On our two hour trip back to the surface, we find ourselves half sleeping on the decompression line, harassing other divers out of sheer boredom, or blowing air rings to pass the time. Surfacing from the depths, we return to the modern day life of warm mineral springs. Thanks to the foresight and dedication of many people, Warm Mineral Springs has continued to evolve into one of the world's best natural health spas, providing many different amenities such as fine dining, a lovely gift shop, extra spa services such as manicures, facials and even body massage, along with the well manicured lawns, walkways and outside cafe, and of course the healing waters of Warm Mineral Springs.